Hello, uh, in this session we're gonna learn preventive maintenance in Dynamics 365 supply chain management. We gonna see what is available in the preventive maintenance, how we can do the preventive maintenance. Preventive maintenance is basically two type uh, in D365 supply chain. Uh, one you can do time based, one you can do counter based. So let's see the flow, how we gonna do that. So first we're going to run a schedule for an asset. Asset we have already created. Uh, the asset uh, which we have already demonstrated in previous video. You can see that video how to link all these things. And then after we run the schedule, we'll generate the maintenance schedule first. From the maintenance schedule, we're going to convert it to work order. Then once the work order converted, it would be estimated. It will tell how much would be the cost, how many hours, what are the item is needed. Then if it is item needed, we're going to check the stock. Work order going to be scheduled and we'll release the work order. And the work order, we will push it to the floor that people are going to work with that work order. Okay. And then once the work order goes to the floor, people are going to have a checklist. Based on the checklist, they're going to complete their task and also they will register whatever the consumption they have uh, that how many items they have taken how many hours they have booked it right and those things they have complete then we're gonna finish the work order and then we're gonna end the work order so let's move into the demo and see that how it can be done so here i have already created an asset uh, that asset code is uh, k002 I will move to the periodic under the periodic there is a preventive maintenance under the preventive maintenance there is schedule maintenance plan in this maintenance plan I'm gonna run for next 21 days for an asset which required every seven days maintenance so that seven days uh, i put it 21 days from today onwards it's gonna check for next 21 days this particular asset need any maintenance or not i can create automatic work order but i just wanted to first generate the schedule and see that schedule and from there we're gonna move it to the work order let's run that one and we wait in the maintenance schedule the maintenance schedule is under the maintenance schedule all maintenance schedule here you can find out your asset so here is the three has been created so say this is eight so I gonna push it this work order and this is look good this is the thing seven days MTC four hours things read it now I gonna create a new work order take four hours needed preventive type one work order per line it's already got created a work order uh, here is our work order number so we gonna we gonna search that work order uh, from the uh, work order all work order so if we go back to the menu called work order you can use the workspace or you can use the menu all work order here it goes this is our work order this is already estimated and you can see the estimate the forecast is already given over here and it say that this is what you need this is what you need and then expenses you really don't know how much going to be the cost for you uh, you you maybe ask for a vendor to be quote for that and we we, we we gonna we're gonna put the cost say the cost is 300 they have already quoted okay so just put that one so what is next what we need to do actually we need to schedule this one so you can schedule the asset tools workers and fibros everything so i'm going to schedule that one let's see system allocate to whom the status is going to be changed to schedule once it is done there is a batch process running so it's saying that scheduled start time this to this the four hours already taken care of we can check who is the person has been this is tom how word has been allocated but uh, for our demo purposes i'm going to dispatch that work to mr paul so i can use my user id to do that things i reallocate it back and you can see uh, 
this is the one has been allocated to my name okay so now next move we're gonna let's clear that one otherwise that will make sounds so next is we need to change the status we need to push it to the release so once it is released everything good on the time you can put your uh, correct uh, mm, uh, dead you can release it to the floor for in progress so for our demo purposes we are moving to this one for in progress and I'm saying that that is starting uh, actual start is basically today uh, today 2 p.m. once you started you can see the actual started has been captured right so now if we go to that particular user uh, mobile device they can see uh, they can see their uh, their task basically so what I'm going to do I'm going to connect my mobile let's see the mobile connection This is the mobile connections I have. Uh, we can go to the work order my calendar. Let's sync it back. Should be something. Let me check the months. Fifth May. So this is the one which is already scheduled and the schedule has been given to me, right? So the user can start from here and they can see the checklist, whatever the checklist got allocated to him. So you can see this is the checklist, this checklist, this particular checklist, if we come to the work order, this is over here actually in the maintenance checklist. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to check that one that it is okay or not. Yeah, okay. Just right, good. Done. This is sinking back. And let's check the another one. Just putting for information purposes. Good. Done. And the another one I should go and put it. Okay, good. So you can put your instructions and all this thing what they need to follow all the detail you can put it there so they can see that one you can use tablet you can use mobile any of the platform should be okay so every three three is the the three is checked and if you have any attachment you wanted to put it for that particular assets and you can send it back uh, to the uh, to the user what I'm going to do actually I'm gonna put a picture of my key and let's see that it's work or not okay take and photograph allow I'm just going to take that one and I just put that current photo look good the photo should be added automatically in the work order itself okay it's take time uh, so your work order is done so what happened then uh, if we go back here and you can see uh, the maintenance shit list here is already checked in it is giving you the information who has completed what time has been completed okay the second thing is that if you wants to capture any notes that while you are doing the things you can put any notes uh, maintenance worker remarks or internal load external load you can put that thing I say that yeah it's working right notes you can put it according to your need you can also put it this one from the mobile devices so what I'm going to do actually I 
I can, if I need a tool, you can see this tool is already been uh, allocated. So the tool schedule, if you go to the schedule, the tool is already blocked. Okay. And we can see that one um, from that particular asset. So there is a scheduler, work order grand chart is also available for you. You can also have a look into that. Uh, so this Humbi basically, so this is allocated this time to this time you're gonna be there. The beautiful stuff is there actually. So, <clears throat> so you can you can move back to the work order and finish the work order and see that how is the impact basically. In the journal, we go to the journal and here we can check the on hand if we have on hand or not, right? I definitely have a on hand. I already capture a couple of data so it has a one hand so you can utilize that one and here uh, this is the expenses which is I need to post it against of this uh, against of this uh, against of this uh, particular uh, cost so there are two way you can go to the project journal and post it or you need to define the default uh, category uh, payment uh, sorry the posting profile for that actually so it can automatically take it i don't think i have done that what i'm going to do quickly i just need to go to the project accounting module and select that one define that one and so that can post automatically for me so say this is the category which is a maintenance thing and i'm just putting pd cash you say i just put it pd cash there okay. so then it will not uh, given any issues for me to post the uh, expenses in my project because in the back it is running a project a sub project you can learn these things from our configuration session so let's move back work order find out this work order here it goes the journal so I can define that one who has completed that one okay. so we can find out the resource here can use timesheet for that as well if you want is my user id here so i'm just posting that that guy has been completed that job so the four hour instead of four hour i'm going to put it five hours so you can see the variations and all these things right and here um, we're gonna put that particular expenses to put it say four hundred fifty dollar right that is sorry should be four hundred fifty dollar right so now i'm going to put this one i can post the journal and i can whenever i finish it it can also automatically post the journal so that is that's the way i have set it up my status update from the what called a type and the life cycle status okay so now i go back and i complete this one know what what time I'm completing I'm just putting this time I'm completing what system gonna do they're gonna post my journal process my maintenance checklist and everything let's wait for a few minutes cycle status got updated and it's saying that the journal has been posted and this voucher has been posted you can see the project transactions whatever has been posted in the back right and this uh, the cost has been already uh, gone to my uh, accounts okay and now here I gonna close the work order for me right finish the work order once it is finished it would be deactivated and it will it will not available in the active work order uh, this is how the process run in d365 supply chain management this is a time-based preventive maintenance in a small scan 
we will learn more about the counter in the next video and we'll also work it on on the corrective maintenance and the inbound and outbound in the forthcoming video thank you very much i hope this video gonna help you to uh, run your uh, preventive maintenance in d365 supply chain management thank you very much